Okay, what is up guys? Hope everybody's having a good day today. My day is going pretty good. So quickly before I get into this video, if you're new to my channel, hopefully you guys do enjoy this video. And if you do, make sure you drop the subscribe button and like the video as well. And check out my other content. And if you're not new, welcome back to my channel. Hopefully you guys enjoy the video. So now let's hop right into what this video is about. So my friend recently got the keyboard that he won. Yuli, as you guys know, was one of the winners of the keyboard giveaway. Well, he got the Razer or not a Chroma from me. He doesn't know how to use it, and we just so happen to both be on MacBook. So I'm going to make a video helping him out and anyone else in the world who decides to watch this video that needs help. This will also include Windows users. If you guys don't know how to do it, I mean, I know how to do it on both Windows and Mac, seeing that I do have Windows and Mac on my computer. If you look down here in the bottom right corner, there's a Windows 10 ISO. If I, uh, I can open up Windows, but I'm not going to do it right now. Anyways, um, so let's get right into this. So first, you have to download Razer Synapse, and since I'm on Mac, I have Safari so as the default, but it's faster anyways. So you come here, the link will be in the description down below. Here, here's the link, so you know which one to click, because there might be more than one, I'm not sure yet. But here's the link for the thing. So if you come down here, this is for Windows, if you guys want Windows. And as you can see, Windows is... Well, no, wait. Eh, I don't remember. Anyways, Windows thing is way more up to date because it's mainly a Windows program. Seeing they have a lot more things they can do with their stuff than Mac people can, but I still manage to make do. So then you come over here. I'm not clicking any of them because I already have it. So you just download Razer Synapse. It'll set itself up, and then it'll look something like this. But whenever you open it, you have to make your account. You have to make an account. And see, this is the version I'm on. But Windows is on like 2 point something. But anyways, you make your Synapse account. And then it's going to sync all of your Razer devices. Like if you have the Razer. If you have a Razer keyboard, mouse, and mouse pad. And maybe like a mic or something. It doesn't matter. Any of those things, they will all sync into Razer Synapse. And then you can edit everything about them from Razer Synapse. Like here, this is my Razer Mamba. If you come over here, Tournament Edition. If you come over here, you can see I can change all the DPI and lighting and calibration. Cool thing about this, I can literally calibrate my mouse to my mouse pad. So this is like a really good feature for if you're new to Razer. This is probably one of my favorite features. You can literally, like if your mouse is the size of like, if your mouse is like a 4x4 four four inch square. I mean, not your mouse, your mouse pad. You can literally calibrate it so that that mouse pad works perfectly. So, that's pretty cool. And then lighting, I can change it, but I have it set to red right now because my keyboard is currently on a, a one that I made. Pictures will be on the screen for you guys to see now. This one is red out. Actually, it'll be a video because, um, yeah, so i got to keep it short. So, red out's on the screen right now. Now, um, I'm going to go over to my keyboard while you guys are looking at red out. Okay, so now on the screen is lit controls. So in lit controls, I play Minecraft with the lit up keys. I don't play WASD because my hands are too big and I will miss, I literally will miss key. I used to too. So now I play like, I play like wide armed if it make or wide handed. <laughs> kind of funny. Anyways, I made all of these setups. So next one is side swipe, which is the fire with, um, it's like a blue, yeah, it's a turquoise and dark blue surround, and it's literally sliding across the keyboard. And last but not least, surround rainbow, which is a rainbow surrounded by turquoise. I haven't made many of them because I'm just using this one for now. What's 1.0? 1.0 is rainbow slides in multiple directions. So that's that, but I'm going to keep it on red out because that's what I use. Alright, so quickly, let's get into everything else. So you can, if you would like to, so whenever you open up this, and if you have a, you have to have a Razer Chroma keyboard or mouse for this to work. You won't be able to edit it if you have a regular one without color, like just a green one, because that's their default color. But anyways, you make a profile, or you can download them. The link to, the link to download them will be in the description down below for you guys to check out as well. But you come over here, you make a profile, you go to lighting, and then effect custom so you have breathing fire reactive and all of these do their own thing so if you click wave it'll make a rainbow that waves across the keyboard static it stays one color starlight basically random colors pop up everywhere you can have it set to one color two colors three colors and so on or you can have it rainbow spectrum cycling goes through the whole color spectrum and just back to back to back Ripple, you push a key, it ripples either rainbow or whatever color you choose. Reactive lights up whenever you push the key. 
fire you've seen that one already breathing it breathes two colors and like it'll just keep breathing in and out but here when you come to chroma configurator you can make your own so as you can see this is the one that I'm currently using which is the red out it is a static red with two different waves that go across the keyboard from right to left and left to right so they intercross in the middle of my keyboard and they're two white waves running across my keyboard and then I have a blue ripple that starts out dark blue and outlines in turquoise so whenever I push a button it just it looks really really cool I can show you guys that as well but first I'm gonna show you guys how to make one so if you decide you want to make your own you can so uh, YouTube quickie that's gonna be the name Chroma configurator so I'm going to make I'm just gonna make something random so the top two key top two rows I'll do mm, static will make it yellow so the top two keys are now static yellow apply now the rest of these are dark so there's nothing on them so I'm gonna just grab a few keys and I'll this is completely random so don't don't get too um penile about what it looks like because I don't know what I'm doing right now I'm really just showing you guys the limitless abilities that you have with this so then just say I add hmm, breathing and then I make color one turquoise color two dark blue and then apply and now it's breathing both of those colors so I come over here I do these two and then color red and yellow now it's breathing those for there and then you come down here you do the same thing if you would like um, these two colors are gonna be purple purple and pink now it's breathing those two colors and then for the whole thing I'll add a ripple with trash um what color did I not use orange apply I don't really like breathing honestly oh I gotta make this faster too on key press shit I messed up <laughs> you gotta make it short because if you don't it will go really slow and it looks like poochies but it's okay easy fix all you gotta do is this you just outline the keys that you want to use and you go about your business and I'm only doing that so that it refreshes sometimes it glitches and you gotta do that there you go now all three rows are blinking their own beautiful little colors and since these happen to be rainbow or wave we will add wave to these bottom ones right here because those are the only keys left not used apply now the whole bottom row is rainbow all of this is rainbow and then breathing are these ripple is the whole keyboard and static is these top ones that which stay yellow which is really really stupid so I'm gonna change this to like red apply and then I will add a wave to it just for looks wave and I will change it to white where's white oh yeah I gotta come over here go all the way up done so now a white wave will go across it constantly so also down here for you guys who are doing the waves um, if you want to have a line that runs across the key where you can actually see the line you have to turn the width of the key down that way it doesn't look like a big bundle of white just going across so now there's a video on screen of the keyboard that I just made for you guys to see and that's really it for the Chroma Configurator. That's really easy to do. And then Gaming Mode, if you guys don't know, if you turn on Gaming Mode, all of your function keys F1 through F12 will be clicked automatically without having to press FN or anything like that. All you do is press F10, which is Gaming Mode, and then once you press that, every F key that you push will be pushed automatically. For, like, taking screenshots or something, it does it automatically. You don't have to push two keys instead of one. But anyways, next thing if you come over here, you can set macros simply by literally clicking on the key. If you click on the key, it brings up an option for all of the different things you can do. You can have a launch application. So like if I do this, hold on. Um, let's make this enter button a launch application because I never use that button. You come here. Yes, I'm recording. 
it brings up a whole bunch all my applications so we'll click Skype all right um launch website okay so it is now well what are these um default okay and if you decide that you want to change it there you go you literally just click default so let's see if this works I'm gonna press the enter button and there you go it brings up my Skype so you can set it for all kinds of different things there's the anyways um there's a bunch of different things you can do with these. You can have macros, intro device, multimedia, which will bring up like YouTube videos and stuff. You can disable keys entirely if a key's pissing you off. Mouse function, that's like clicking and stuff. If you want to like make W like your attack button, if you, you know, play WASD or whatever. Macros, switch profile. So if I do this, it can like switch between my Razer profiles. There's a whole bunch of different things you can do. So hopefully this video did help you guys. All of this stuff applies for Windows as well. There are things that you can get on the Razer page, such as software like this. If you go to Chroma or RGB, it brings up things like, uh, where is it? Right here. Things like, uh, I didn't show it, never mind. Um, oh, Workshop, there we go. It brings up a whole bunch of things like this. Uh, we, there's Chroma games, you can put like Snake on your keyboard, stuff like that. That's pretty interesting. Um, there's an audio visualizer which did not work for me. I did not figure out how to do it. It's kind of glitchy still. I've discovered I did everything that I saw on YouTube in every single possible why, why, way for I'd say a good three or four hours and could not get it to work. But it's okay. It happens. And then if you come over here, there are all of the Chroma applications that you guys can use. Not applications, profiles. So, go and download. So it's really, really cool. So make sure you guys check that out. Links to that will be in the description down below too. But this video is getting pretty long, so I'm going to go ahead and chop it out for you guys. Hopefully you guys learned everything that you needed to know. And if you did not, comment down below and I will try and get back to you on what you needed to know and what I didn't explain. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video, and peace out, everybody. Wow.